Hey everyone, welcome to The Works. I'm Jessica Kale Sheffield. And I am Haley Lane. And we have been re-watching G Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't stop, we just can't it's, stop. It's too good. It's too good. We may have a problem, uh, but it, it's okay because it's uh, Yasuhiro Imagawa and that is just fine. Yes, it's a based problem. <laughs> And uh, we've been we've been watching uh, the first five episodes or so. This one particular is um, in Soviet Russia. Uh, Gundam fight you, I believe. And and uh, we've got the highlights here set to uh, me drawing a little something that I enjoyed from this particular episode. So please, everyone, enjoy. <laughs> we're we're getting very fond of this photo. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Here we go. I was like, remember this. <laughs> so Japan really went, okay, we need Russia's character and Gundam. What what do we think of when we think of Russia? Um, <laughs> jail and <laughs> Ushankas. <laughs> the hat was the first thing I even noticed about this Gundam. It's like, oh my God. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's Ushanka or Ushanka, but I, I just, I I'm so happy that the Gundam is wearing the hat and the coat. <laughs> Oh, and we're going to start with a, with a Baba in front of yes. the fireplace. Speaking of about course. an ominous, <laughs> ominous story. Have you heard of Hell Hell Castle? <laughs> ah, evil laughter, unskippable three minutes. <laughs> See, most people don't know this, but Dark Souls was just Japan's Russia simulator. <laughs> I will accept this into my head canon. I've never played Dark Souls myself, but if it's not G Gundam, basically this episode of G Gundam, <laughs> I'll be disappointed. I, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just thinking of that meme of like X is the Dark Souls of Y. <laughs> G Gundam, G -Gundam, is, Gundam the is the Dark of Souls of anime. <laughs> no, of Gundam. No. Yes. <laughs> Is the Dark Souls of God? Only the strongest understanders can handle this show. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get into it. Get good casual. <laughs> God, you're so right, though. This is so much better on the rewatch. Like, now knowing what we know about poor Domon here. Yeah. That he's the worst actor ever, and he literally just said that to a Russian guard. <laughs> <laughs> he's sort of thinking, like, I liked Italy better. Like, at least I got my face shoved into a pizza. <laughs> here it's a boot. <laughs> but he doesn't realize in Russia there's no food. <laughs> There are just sexy, authoritative women with yeah. whips, apparently. God, I love her. Oh, God, the, the currency. Got... I love it. He had a couple of rubles, or neo-rubles. Neo-rubles, yes. That's the question, isn't it? Best animation in the episode, right here. <laughs> oh, He loves it. Ow! In Soviet Russia, arm dislocate you. <laughs> Oh, and there he is! <laughs> De Kaino. De Kaino. <laughs> Big, Big <boy>. guy. <laughs> this looks extreme, but this is actual size for an average <laughs> Japanese man and an average Russian. Yes. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Ow. He loves it. It's great. See, this is how they get people off of opiates. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks comatose. <laughs> Oh boy, so you what are you gonna shoot me with to put me in the coma? Shoot you with. <laughs> Aww. No. Oh, this is so messed up. Every every time they give Imagawa a show, he's just like, all right, so what's the plot? And then they, <laughs> they give him whatever idea they had and he goes, nope. And then he rewrites <laughs> it so that there's unreliable narrators everywhere. <laughs> single shot changing the meaning of the entire episode so far. I, I do like how the, the the whole plot is just, oh yeah, you know, the, the authorities put out false information and then as soon as the people show up, they just uh, jail them without <laughs> without trial infinitely. It's like, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's not right. just Russia, but no. yeah. <laughs> no, I... I love oh. this shot of all the Gundams strung up on like these torture devices and ripped apart. Cause it's, yeah. <laughs> You know, it, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, that's uh, uh, why would they do that? They don't need to do it. It's like, no, it's it's endearing you to see whenever you see these things fighting, whenever you see the battles, that there's a person in there. 
So it's it's oh, like yeah. Imagawa is doing a great job with getting you used to that imagery really early on and very, you know, just ubiquitous in the show. It's it's great. That's a really good point. They're unwrapping Wonka bars. <laughs> Stands up. I found the golden ticket to the Gundam tournament. <laughs> this is way too much food to be accurately Russian. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not being fair. Russia's not not that bad these days. No, <laughs> no. Uh, this was like the 80s, right? 80s, 90s, 90s. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Domo! Oh, this. This is so might make so much sense now. Oh poor Domon. This didn't make any sense before, but now it makes sense. Oh bless Japan having people with guns run up to people without guns. <laughs> <laughs> this made zero sense earlier and now oh. this is this makes so much sense now. Oh my god. Oh Argo! It's a good thing you punch well, or otherwise <laughs> I just let you get shot. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah, I, I, I love that little detail where it's like, you know, the first time I was watching this, I even I was like, what? Well, this doesn't make any sense. Why would he help him escape? Yep. And then fight him in the Gundam anyway with the intention of bringing him back. And it's like he wasn't intending on bringing him back. It wasn't about yep. that. He just wanted to fight him. Yep. We we interrupt this regularly scheduled uh, The Works episode uh, because I, I just wanted to make a comment. You might have noticed that I, I decided to try to pen Argo here. I was basically experimenting around going like, you know, maybe instead of just doing pencil work, you know, with my, my blue and reds, uh, maybe I'll, I'll go back to like the old days of, of the penning. Like, I mean, how, how, how long can it really take? You know, it's just a quick, you know, sketch of, uh, of Argo, right? <laughs> 70 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> and amazing, amazingly, it's just like, you know, people might look at this and be like, man, she really likes Argo. It's like, no, he was just your lucky contestant on Jess, Jess Experiments using her pens again. It is a good Argo. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it's my first Argo as well. I've never drawn him before. <laughs> It's like this was back back in the day when when I originally watched G Gundam were were the days where I wasn't a very good artist, so I didn't even bother doing fan art. But now, now I can do it. I can make yes. my dreams into reality. Anyway, back back to the episode. <laughs> oh my god, that's oh that's that's an amphibious assault craft. That's hilarious. <laughs> Imagawa really likes his really likes his military toys. <laughs> don't want. You've got green eyes. Clearly, you you don't belong with the rest of the NPCs here. <laughs> I have no idea what's written on the walls. I hope that one of those things is suka. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nothing but <laughs> kind of stuff you hear on like Russian gaming servers. Look, look at this. Argo goes and tells them. <laughs> Oh, because he's like, they're, then they're going to have me like, you know, have, have me try to stop him and I'm going to get to fight him again. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just punches through the wall. Oh, my God. So, so how are we going to get out of here? He just walks through the wall. <laughs> Just like, destroys it. <laughs> There's an Argo shaped hole behind him. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I love this guy. I appreciate the bird imagery. <laughs> that sure is a giant robot wearing a coat and a Yushanka. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> it's got the perfect silhouette. It's like that thing comes out and you just hear the chant of the Volga boatman playing. <laughs> yeah, that'd be my reaction too. <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly what I was thinking, Domo. I'm like, what? This this makes zero sense. It's in the ice this time. <laughs> he, he's come for the Kuril Islands. <laughs> As a representative of Neo Japan, you cannot allow this. <laughs> Imagawa! <laughs> oh, yes, my favorite sequence. Imagawa thinks of the ladies. Again, I'm a simple woman. <laughs> Oh, I love that that shot in there too. That oh, mm, saxophone. Oh yeah. 
This was the track that made me actually decide, okay, I'm going to watch this show. <laughs> it's true. Good music can just motivate it's, that. Like, you know what? Okay, the show might be trash, but this music is undeniably bop. Exactly. And then I'm watching the show. It's like, oh, the show is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hot. Wow. <laughs> It's like, no, I wanted to fight this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this weapon. <laughs> mm, animation. <laughs> I, yes. Nick Craig. Yes. Oh, look at that expression on him. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> There's some really good weight in this animation in this fight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I have no idea what this plot is. <laughs> I'm just so happy that Imagawa was like, okay, after, after you know, the, the Russian Gundam gets punched in the head, yes. it's going to uh, crack its neck left and right. <laughs> and once again, once again, I'm sure they're like, Imagawa, it's a, it's a robot. It doesn't have to do that. And Imagawa was like, you don't understand. <laughs> If I were in that room, I'd be like, I, I, but it doesn't make any sense. It's absolutely not the kind of thing I would have thought of, but it's so cool. And the thing is, it actually makes perfect sense because everyone keeps forgetting that the way these things are piloted is that like, it's whatever the person in the suit is in the robot is doing. Yeah. So it's like, it's going to move like they move. Yeah. That's, that's the Redditor's explanation. The real explanation <laughs> is, it's what you do. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> It's like, stop overthinking it. Just animate it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, that that was a lot of fun. I like Argo. <laughs> Argo's great. I mean, talk about a great scene, you know, walking around like, uh, okay, so what's the plan? And Argo just like, <laughs> just this. flexes, <laughs> punches through the wall, grabs a fuel pipe, and breaks it. Oh, we like Argo. We love Argo. He's such a sweetheart. A se secret, ador adorable guy. <laughs> Big, scary Russian. He just wants to knock a few heads, but they have to be someone he respects. <laughs> I love that when they called Argo to like, hey, hey, we got a guy hiding in the bushes here. Just like hot, wait ominously for him you know, until he comes <laughs> over. And Argo's like... Uh, you know, like another another day at the head smashing factory. It's like he's like, okay, fine. And he's sitting there, and then you know he he stands up and he looks all intimidating, and he's just he's bored as hell. And then of course Domon is like, oh my god, like my punches have no effect. And Argo's like, yeah, just whacks him on the head, knocks him out. He's like, okay, done. And then then later they're having a meal. And out of nowhere, this scrappy little Japanese dude leaps over the tables <laughs> to freaking sucker kick him in the head. And Argo in that moment is like, oh my god, he can actually fight. He's actually got like the, the desire to fight me. I've got to save this man's life. I've got to make an elaborate escape plan so I can actually fight this guy. <laughs> based. Oh my god, absolutely based. I love it. <laughs> I've been swimming in Imagawa writing. <laughs> that was episode five uh, in Soviet Russia Gundam Fight You. And <laughs> I had a lot of fun. So did I. Thank you so much. Oh, guys, thank you for, for listening, too. Thanks for listening, everyone, and we'll see you at the next one. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Bye.